Hi there everybody, just welcome to another Math School video. Um, this is um, a little bit of a trickier topic, multiplying and divide, dividing algebraic fractions. Um, well, like multiplying and dividing um, any fraction, obviously you need to know what those skill, skills are, uh, so please visit other uh, videos regarding multiplying and dividing fractions if you're not quite sure what those processes are. But this is a little bit different, um, so I just wanted to walk you through this one because there's a little bit of a, a trick and a technique that you can, you can do to make your life a little bit easier when multiplying algebraic fractions. Okay, so let's just take a look at the example, um, um, and it mentions in here about um, factorising first to make your life simpler. So that's the kind of key thing that we're going to look at, all right? Uh, so don't get kind of frightened by what you kind of see. It looks a little bit over complicated, but it, it's not. Um, it, it really is just a case of take it step by step. Okay, so we've got something looking like this. You've got 2x plus 4 over 3x plus 9 times by 3 over x plus 2. Well, the technique normally uh, of multiplying fractions is you would times the top two, and then you would times the, bo the bottom two. And again, nothing wrong with that. that. That would absolutely be fine, and I'm sure you would get a solution from it. Um, but you're going to end up with something something like 6x plus 12 at the top, and then you're going to have a double bracket at the bo bottom, which would need expanding, uh, which will turn into a qu quadratic, which then is going to look a little bit more complicated. And of course, the key bit of this is it's asked us to simplify it. It's asked us to simplify it, so we then have to do something a little bit more. It will work. Um, but of course it's a long-winded way of doing it and the idea of having 3x squared when I multiply this double bracket at the bottom is something that's putting me off a little bit all right so we're going to try and do first of all is we're just going to try and factorize this part first all right so before we get into actually multiplying the fractions out so i.e times the top two times the bottom two we're just going to try and split it up into, into its factors all right so factorizing it um, okay might see why in a minute Okay, well, you will see. Right, so let's factorize the top bit. Well, there's a 2 appears in both of these two things. All right, so if I take the 2 outside the bracket, then I've got need an x inside, and then you divide that one by 2, it leaves me with plus 2. Okay, so 2 bracket x plus 2. So that's factorized. And again, if you're not quite sure how I'm factorizing, then please look at previous videos about factorizing expressions. Okay, underneath, you've got a 3x plus 9. Again, that factorizes is a 3, which is common in both. So the 3 is going to come outside the bracket. Um, and then you've got 3 times the x, and then 3 times the 3, which gives you the 9. So in the bracket, x plus 3. Okay. And then the one on the right hand side, well, that doesn't factorize at all. So there's not much I can do with that one. So just leave it as it is. But it's at this point, um, when I multiply these two out, that you're going to see why I did this. All right. You'll see why I did this. Okay. So times the top two together. So this times this. Um, it's going to give me 6, so because it's 2 times the 3, which gives me 6 lots of x plus 2, all right, 6 lots of x plus 2. And then at the bottom, well, this is 3x plus 3 times another bracket x plus 2, so I'm just going to write that exactly as I kind of said it, so 3x plus 3 bracket x plus 2, so all that going to in, in one big thing. Um, but now, hopefully, you can see, and if you've looked at some of my other lessons, when I'm looking at simplifying fractions, if I've got a bracket which appears top and bottom, then they can cancel each other out. And I hopefully you can see I've got an x plus 2 at the bottom and an x plus sorry, at the top and an x plus 2 at the bottom. So those two will literally cancel each other out. So they're gone. Alright, so that makes it a lot of awful easier. Um, there, the x plus 3 is stayed put. Not much I can do with that one. But I am looking at 6 divided by 3, uh, the two whole numbers. Alright, so what is 6 divided by 3? Well, that's going to be 2. All right, so that means I'm going to have a 2 that's going to be at the top in a second. I think they've just done that bit first. Um, and, and there you go, 2 over x plus 3. And that's me simplified it, okay? So just going back to the beginning, all right? This process here of factorizing is going to save me an awful lot of work towards the back end if uh, rather than trying to expand this bit as 6x plus 12 and having a quadratic at the bottom. All right, that would work. You would get there. Um, but ultimately, you'd have to then factorise a quadratic. By factorising it earlier, it's just made your life an awful lot easier. Okay, so let's have a look at another one, um, uh, which is dividing. All right, well, dividing fractions, I'm sure you're probably aware of the rule, something called KFC, which is keep, flip, change. So keep the first one exactly as it is, and then you would flip this um, upside down, and then we would change the sign to a times, all right? So that's a bit of a technique in terms of 
dividing fractions. So again, if you're not quite sure about that technique, then it's worth looking back at another video um, on dividing fractions. All right, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna keep this first, this first one. We're gonna flip this and then times it, okay? Which is what we've got over here. Kept it, flipped it, and changed the sign, all right? Right, thinking about what we did last time, we looked at rather than just times the top two, times the bottom two to make, to make our life easier, we're going to look at the, the, any, if there's anything that factorises. Well, the x plus 1 doesn't factorise, and neither does the 2. But the two denominators both factorise. Okay, I can see that there's a, those are both, both even numbers, and I can see that those are both divisible by 3. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, So the x plus 1 stays as it is, and then this denominator, both, both divide by 2. So the 2 goes on the outside, and then an x plus 3. Okay, that bracket. Now this 2 should remain the same. But this denominator over here, again, I can see there's a 3 in both. So 3 goes outside the bracket and an x plus 1. Uh, and like I've mentioned before, if you're not quite sure how or why, how or why I'm factorising this, then please look at factorising expressions. Um, it's really important you, you have that kind of skill set to be, to be able to do this. All right. Now I can go back to my, my, my rules of multiplying fractions, where I times the top two times the bottom two. So that would come together in one big, long thing looking like this. So you've got 2 times the x plus 1 at the top and then you've got the 2 times the 3 that gives you the 6 and then the 2 brackets side by side okay and now I look to simplify it well I've got an x plus 1 and an x plus 1 at top and bottom so they're going to go and then similar to the one I did at top but just be careful here this is 2 divided by 6 well 2 divided by 6 is the same as 1 third isn't it so 1 will go to the top and then a 3 at the bottom but I'm sure it'll do it in here for you Okay, so 1 over 3, x plus 3. So the x plus 3 stays as it is, there, and then the 2 over 6 has become 1 over 3. It's been simplified, which is what I've been asked to do. All right, so please do practice. Go to the Math School website, um, have a look at some kind of questions, and give it a bit more time. And again, if you think you're missing any skills, which I've kind of gone through, please look at other videos to kind of support you. All right, thanks for listening.